Hi, this is Chris Buss with Traders Profit Compass with a market wrap up for Tuesday, July 28th. I just want to do a quick uh, recap of the indexes. Um, I had sent out uh, a midday note to subscribers saying that I didn't think uh, much would happen today being in front of uh, the FOMC and other market moving uh, events that are scheduled for later this week. Uh, that's a good lesson everybody. Uh, never kind of predict what's going to happen because you really don't know and then you may not be ready to take advantage of a, a late day move like we had today. So uh, let's go through it. We had uh, 323 as our pivot point. We had an uptrend line uh, off of the recent lows. Uh, price just hung around here uh, at this 323 level all day. Had a little push above that failed. And then when this trend line broke and 323 broke, uh, we got a quick uh, rug pull down. Um, it stopped right here at this 321 level, which is halfway between uh, 323 resistance and 319 support. Uh, now tomorrow, this 321 area will be your pivot point for short-term trading. Um, uh, if it holds, the objective will be back to the top of the box here at 323. If it breaks, uh, I would imagine that it would come down here uh, to this 319 area uh, of support. And of course, if it breaks, then it goes a lot further. But uh, for tomorrow, um, focus in on 321. A break below. I think you can set a stop just below, just above and look for a move uh, to 319 where I expect there would be uh, some dip buyers or at least some uh, uh, support there. I don't think it'll just cruise on through. Um, but there you go. Surprise late day rug pull. Break of uh, 323. Send it down. Uh, surprising, but that's what it is. Uh, then tomorrow, use 321 as your pivot. Looking at the cues, I should have pointed out on the SPY, it's got the same profile up here with uh, RSI and PPO with uh, rollovers near the zero line and breaks below uh, 50. Those are bearish signatures. Today we had uh, uh, 259 as our pivot point. It hung right near this uh, uh, line all day long until right at the end of the day it broke and then sent it down we've got a, a gap that formed from yesterday I've got those levels for you if you want to write them down 256.45 is the top of the gap and 255 spot 56 is the bottom of the gap it's about one dollar wide so uh, that would be a good line to shoot against. Um, see if support can hold there. If it doesn't, uh, I suppose that gap will fill. Uh, and although this gap below had filled previously over here, I've still got it penciled in. There may be uh, support there um, at that level. Uh, and if this level breaks here at the bottom of this uh, $1 gap, uh, you may see a move down here to uh, 252, where I expect there would be um, some support. So tomorrow, key off this gap at 256.45. Um, uh, you can stay bullish above, but bearish below. IWM, we had identified 147.50 as resistance. It's struggled here for the better part of uh, today. Uh, we had said this morning 
to key off uh, 147 and this trend line when it broke we got a nice impulsive move down closing the day right at 146 um, I have a level here at 145.60 I would wait to see if price moved down to that level then and see how it reacts um, right here where price closed it's kind of in no man's land I wouldn't want to try to get too cute there, get too fancy. Wait till you uh, get a move down to a, a clear level here at the bottom of this support. Um, see if that holds. Um, if it does, you can be long against it and hope for a move back to the top of the box. But a move below. I think sends it to 145. Now, if you're bearishly inclined and the you know indicators are now pointing bearish, you may just want to wait for this uh, 145 level. That's been a level you see here that's held uh, three or four times in the past. Wait for uh, price to react to that level may see another bounce but if it fails the real prize is uh, a move down to 142 to fill this three dollar gap so depending on how you want to play it you may just want to give up this uh, 60 cents here um, uh, it's not that big a deal I don't think um, given that the support here has been pretty robust at 145 you may just want to wait for that to break that's what i'm going to do um i was doing other things and kind of preoccupied i didn't get any of these uh late day moves uh wasn't paying attention um if you're already bearish and you stayed bearish it's fine to stay that way but if you're not in and don't have a position I would rather see you wait and see how price reacts here at 145 and uh, shoot for uh, this breakdown here to 142. Uh, if it holds and bounces, might go right back up to the top of the range at 147.50. Uh, that would be uh, your technical target if this holds. So, anyways. A little surprised at the late day dump, but it is what it is, and now we can uh, trade it from there tomorrow. Um, I will send you an update in the morning based on what Futures is doing um, to give you uh, a morning read, uh, but that's how we stand as we close today. This has been Chris Bus with Traders Profit Compass. I really appreciate your time. Uh, check out the links in the description notes for uh, ways to subscribe to the blog. Uh, you can get my content six times a week. Uh, it'd be great if you joined the team. Love to have you. Um, I will talk to you in the morning. Thank you.